Well, welcome back to another Martial Arts Business Success Podcast, and we're here once again with Raz and Graham and myself, Phil Britton, giving you guys great tools, tips, and strategies on how you can build, grow, and monetize your martial arts business. Now, last uh, recording, we talked a little bit about the importance in video and the difference between sort of everyday sort of uh, selfie style videos and professional videos. Now we're gonna talk about and sort of collaborate about what we do, what Raz has seen on what you should do, when you should do it, and how we should do it. Now, we're definitely no professionals, but we're just in there doing it. So, um, social media is an ever-changing landscape, and the one time that you think you've got it, guess what, it changes on you. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's good to see um, Raz that he, he gets around and does all this stuff for all these different businesses, martial arts businesses, all sorts of stuff, and he'll, he sees a lot of stuff, and you know, he's got his own business um, where he does a lot of social media work as well. So, Graham, we've got a question. Yeah, look, look, I thought what we do is, Raz, let's just start with talking generically as, as a business and trying to build your brand awareness. Now I know that uh, look, you, you touched on, Raj, you, you deal with some small companies, sometimes you deal with some really quite large companies, uh, all about brand awareness and building that brand. So but is there any sort of tips for the viewers and listeners about where do they start? Okay, so yes, if we're talking specifically about social media, um, well, where, where do you start? So. Obviously, you'd start with your branding, you know, your website, you're your, your setting up your social media pages. Now, when, we, when we're talking specifically about doing videos, okay, the very first place that I like to tell all of my, uh, you know, clients and potential clients um, what they actually need in regards to video is generally a corporate overview or what I would call a corporate overview. Same thing as I did for you guys for the very first time, mm-hmm. which is basically... Um, a summary of everything that your company offers, your visions, your, your features, your benefits, all in a high impact, um, you know, one to two minute video, something that you can, you know, put on your website, something that you can put it pinned to the top of your Facebook page, something you can um, upload to YouTube and send out in emails, uh, just, you know, the link, you can even text the link to people, you know, uh, something that'll tell everybody about your company, um, you know, the, the, you know the whole, the, your whole story in a high impact uh, short video. Mm. So, Rose, look, I know that uh, we know that you've got, you know, multiple businesses. You're, you're a serial entrepreneur, but there, you've you've been able to develop a, an offshore sort of business, an international sort of business that that runs sort of holiday villas in, in Bali and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Now, you've started this and and basically built that business a lot from just social media. So yep. what have you done there? Because I know there's the, the listeners and the guys watching are gonna be like, look, social media, I wanna use it. How do I use it effectively to build their business? Yeah, okay, so that business is, yeah, we have a villa business in Bali that, uh, you know, we have uh, private rental villas. Uh, we only manage private rental villas. Now, as, as you said, um, a hundred, almost a hundred percent of my uh, marketing strategy is, is purely through Facebook. Right. And um, in doing that, uh, we figured out the right strategy that we use for that particular business, but we're getting a 90 to 100 percent occupancy, which is which is crazy <laughs> when you're talking not, nightly rentals. Now, yeah. um, the strategy that we use now, <clears throat> um, this can work for all sorts of businesses, but this is the one that we found. Like uh, when, when I started it, I, I, I learned along the way, so I, I was basically <laughs> just like uh, doing it. But um, I started with, uh, as I said, a corporate overview or like a walkthrough of the video, right? And then the key thing with Facebook that I found uh, to get the highest amount of engagement, the highest amount of um, uh, response was to stay relevant, right? So um, a big part, we're talking Bali, we're talking thousands and thousands of villas, yet we somehow, and I've got the number one spot on TripAdvisor, FlipP and all the different places. Mm-hmm. And it's mainly because we utilized, I mean, lucky enough for me, I've got a video production company as well. We utilize a lot of our marketing with using video. Now mm-hmm. that was some professional video, and some selfie sort of amateur video, you know, and I got I got using them at the right times. Yep. I got um, almost the same amount of response and the same amount of ROI and the same amount of engagement. Um, but basically, uh, the idea if you've got your business, whether it's martial art business or whatever, um, it's, if we talk about frequency of posting, all right, number one, you need good content. So video is good content, but if you're going in between videos and stuff like that, you need to find some relevant content to what's actually happening at the time mm. in your business and also outside of your business you know you can also you know cross market with things like if you've got a uh, I don't know like a martial arts school and now it's coming towards summer it's starting to get hot all right you, you bridge on that you know or if mm. the grand final's coming up and you've got a pub 
or something like that. You know, you can t- you can talk about the Instagram on a special. So you so your social media has to also be relative to what's happening at the mm. time. Yep. And I would say um, I, I see a lot of businesses getting doing 150 posts a week, sort of thing. Or you know, <laughs> that's just like really, um, but yeah, that doesn't always work for you. So what you want to do is you want to find key times that people will be looking at their feeds now most people are working most people going to school or doing what they're doing so that's usually between the hours of nine to five when are they looking at social media sometimes when they wake up in the morning so in the morning hours uh lunch time they have their lunch break they're checking their feeds uh and also a high uh, a high traffic time is in the afternoons when everyone's finishing commuting commuting on the way back home or you know uh once they've gotten home wow so so mate you, you sort of touched on blending a professional video with also some of the you know amateur sort of video which we touched on last so you'd agree that having both has yep. really worked well for you mm-hmm. and then staying relevant yep. so that is not just set for yet in other words do one and kind of leave it and that's it done yeah no yeah. no you definitely need to be consistent consistency is the key also you can't uh the, a, another thing that's going to really really help is if you've got a business and you're and you're making these posts and uh, to get a response for your business or to get engagement, you need to you can't just put the post up there. Where people are going to be liking, people are going to be commenting, uh, people are going to be inquiring. You need to be really quick on the response of that. Mm. So um, that'll that'll drive engagement. It works uh, wonders for the Facebook al- algorithms. Mm. Um, but you know, and on the social landscape, people you know really want to engage with people. So being yeah. really quick on your response. I'm going to throw this to Phil a little bit because I know that you've been doing a lot of um, uh, different sort of videos lately on different forums and whatnot. When you get a yeah. comment or a like, I know that you have a pretty quick response time or at least yeah. make sure that you try your very best to, to respond. Um, what, what have you learned on, on the way with that? Um, yeah, I, 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 especially probably in the last four months maybe, I don't know, probably three months, I've been really changing how I've been doing social media. Mm-hmm. Um, meaning that even changing from holding from landscape to portrait, uh, because everyone are, is on their phones and it, it, it is, is confusing or as stupid it might sound, people don't want to, it, it's a tiring and boring for them to turn their phone this way. They want to see it this way, it's a larger image. So sometimes you want to be able to have your images and visual, visual if you're really looking at mobile coverage is the way that you hold, mm-hmm. your, you hold your phone and the way that you have your video, videos edited, mm-hmm. which then comes to can you do it cheaply and you know, budgetly or do you get a professional to do these things as well. Caption videos also works really well. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's all about repurposing your stuff. So if you could just shoot a, say for example, this podcast for 12 minutes and then maybe get one minute grabs of some really good content. So what are three really good takeaways that we could grab out of that? So now we've got a 12 minute feature show then we've got a three one minutes with captions and then you boost posts and you do all this sort of stuff to get it out there. But one thing I know that what you've got to do in business is you can't be just consistently offering and deals and join mm-hmm. here and buy this and that because people, it becomes white noise. Mm-hmm. And you know, the most famous person out there, some people know him, some people don't, Gary Vaynerchuk, mm. um, who we were lucky enough to meet and share the stage with, uh, wrote a book called Jab, 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 Right Hook. You know, and it's the same thing, the relevance of that is, and how it's good with martial arts is, your jab sets up the knockout. Mm-hmm. So you can't be keep trying to just knock people out. <laughs> it, it, it just doesn't work, you know? So the jab sets up the knockout, and the same thing goes with content online, is give, 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 then ask. Don't offer, yeah. don't give them a deal, like ask. You know the question, and then you can do that with your every now and then offer videos or whatever it may be. But as far as like reactions and, and getting back to people, it's important that people see social media is exactly what it is social. Exactly, it needs to be social. Yeah. And what the problem is, I've, I've found, and what I was doing, and I was doing it wrong. I was just posting stuff up there and not commenting and not liking anything mm-hmm. and all like that. Mm-hmm. It's a disengagement. Yeah. And then people don't like that. People want to do business with people who they know, like, and trust. And videos, whether they're selfies, amateur or professional, is a way to get people who you don't know to know, like, and trust you. So then when they click, they like you or talk to you on a comment or come into your business, they've built a relationship with you, even if you haven't been face to face. Exactly. Because I know that uh, Raz touched on, I know that you do this as well, Phil, you know, um, I guess less is more. In other words, having good content within reason, I'm not saying that you don't stay consistent with it, mm. but don't just videotape 
for the sake of videotaping or grab something for the sake of grabbing and just put it up there. You know, just quickly, uh, you know, I don't know, like, if you've ever had the dad or the, the mum or whatever <laughs> with the old school cameras, right? Yeah. And they've like, they don't turn it off and there's the video of them <gasps> breathing and they're, they're more feet, you know, like, like, that's too amateur, you can't have that on yeah. there, like, yeah. So look, it sort of leads me into a, probably a question that, you know, I'm sure that some of the listeners and viewers may understand, but to be honest with you, the people we coach in and uh, we, we've helped with and I still see it regularly being done is confusing their social media from a personal to a business level. In other words, they've got the same thing operating in the same space. Whereas, what's your, what's your opinion on that, mate? All right. The, the, the headline is social media and as you said, social is a big part of it. So what you'll actually find in your business and even on your personal pages is when you post you know direct things that are like selling selling your business you'll get a response from people that are looking for it but what you really need to do is integrate it with lifestyle stuff and you'll find that your your lifestyle posts or your, your social posts are mm. the ones that are going to get most traction because people are going to go oh yeah phil was down at the uh, you know whether he does one of his uh ask phil britons and he's, he's sitting at the at the docks in the bell tower you know everyone's like, oh i was down there they're going to engage with him and um and create conversation and that's basically all part of the process of building trust you know credit Ability inside mm. your company, but yeah, so there is definitely a time and a place for professional and social uh, and, and amateur sort of videos in the social space. And, and I guess just to wrap that up, you know, personal page, business page, a personal page is personal, mm -hmm. and it, in actual fact, if you don't know, there's a limit to the amount of friends you can have. Yeah, 5,000. For a business page, you can have unlimited, and you have the ability to have ads and boost posts, which you can't do on personal. So if you're using a personal page for your business page, because it's just easier. Well, it's the wrong move. You need a business page. Yeah, definitely. You need to drive your business stuff there and, and utilize the features that Facebook have and even Instagram and all that sort of stuff have, have now. Guys, as well. just even to follow on with that, if you are one of these guys who you just started Facebook or whatever account, social account that you want to do just simply because it was the coolest thing to do and then realize, well, hang on, I've got my business and then you're posting stuff about your dog and your, your, your kids. <laughs> Again, just be mindful because what you're doing is you're confusing the potential client that's looking at you. Now, I'm not saying that you can't be social, but remember sometimes, and, and again, from personal experience, I've seen people out there yeah. that are promoting their business and then they're doing things or they're being a, a jackass, uh, having a party and, and having a great time doing some stuff that really probably doesn't align well with the values yeah. of your business. So just a reminder, have a look at what you're putting out there because remember, you won't get it back. Well, so what's, what's better is post your business stuff on your business page then share that to your personal page. Yes, exactly. You get some more engagement and you get it, yeah, the, the Facebook algorithms go, oh, someone's going to share it, even though it's yourself. Yeah, that, that's what I was yeah. going to say. So if you're running a team of, say, five people in your in your business and you've got your business page and you make a post, whether it's a, if you're in a martial arts school, you, you film something for your grading, for a grading seminar or something like that, you post it on your business page, make sure everybody in your business shares it off to their personal pages because, um, as you said, the way alg the algorithms work is... Number one, your video is getting shared. Number two, when it goes onto somebody's personal page, it'll uh, it'll get shown to more of their friends. That's right. You know, whereas on a business page, you actually have to physically pay a small fee to boost the post to get it out to your uh, to get it out to your um, your friends list. So yeah. yeah. guys, look, this topic with social media is ever evolving. But you know, in a nutshell, we always go back to getting professional videos done. So that's just one of those things that really allows us to put our best foot forward. Social media stuff will always change. We'll always stay current with that as an add value to what we already do. So I can't can't uh, specify enough team. If you, if you are a professional business and you want to stand out from the crowd, I'd highly recommend that you look at getting a great video that sells a story and tells people exactly what your values are like and what you stand for. Because, man, people are, people are on the outside looking in and they want to know that your values as a business align with their values as well too. So I, I definitely don't leave it a chance to get somebody there that can really help you out. And look, at the end of the day, guys, you know, that's something we do on a regular basis and it works, you know, pays dividends in the ROI. And again, for, for building relationships, not just getting new students, but definitely retention, definitely uh, uh, further engagement. So I can't highly stress that enough. What we'll do for you guys is just to show you some of the couple of videos that Raz has done for us. In the show notes, in the transcription, what I'll do is you know go onto our website, you'll click the link, it'll say Raz's video promo for Waymer or whatever. We'll have a link and it'll be to one of our videos or a couple of our videos. So you can just sort of see the level of professionalism and what we're able to do with these videos and the difference between, and then, and then what I suggest is go onto our Facebook 
page and then see because you'll see some written text posts you'll see some um, amateur video ones that we do in house and then you'll see the, the professional ones that Raz does for us as well and just sort of gauge you know like we're not perfect but we're out there doing it and that's my lesson to you if you're not doing it doesn't matter how bad it is just get out there and do it something's better than nothing hey guys look I know that I'm gonna drop it on but I know he would have said this anyway if you guys are interested in finding out more about what Raz does and what his team does look he knows that he'd be happy to give you guys like a podcast special if you guys mentioned that you came from us okay I'll let him sort of come, <laughs> I'll let him come with that with you guys Guys, dropped it on him right then and there. But look, at the end of the day, guys, look, you gave us your website before, which is uh, sproductions.com.au. And what's the email? Do you have an email that they're able yeah. to direct it at? You can direct it, uh, any emails or inquiries to raz at sproductions.com.au. Happy to come down, uh, come and sit with you, talk about some ideas, talk about some concepts that we can uh, do to help uh, help generate traffic for your business, uh, utilizing you know professional video. And guys, if you're on the east coast, look, you know we've got social media, we also got uh, live streaming sort of stuff that makes it easy just to do a face to face, whether it's Skype or, or whatever sort of forum. Even Raz is one of these guys that travels with us a lot and will come and sort of visit. So definitely take action. Don't sit on the fence. Even just throw some questions about where do you start. So I can't recommend it highly enough to get on board and don't hesitate. All right, guys, well, thank you for joining us on today's show. It's been an absolute uh, killer couple of episodes interviewing Justin before and Raz now with the social media stuff. We're gonna be coming back at you with some really good stuff coming up. Um, and to be honest, if you're interested, if you're loving the, what we're talking about, if you like what we're saying and what you're watching on the video, we'll get online to some of our content. We're in the process right now of updating a lot of our content. So get in there, check out what's there. It's gonna be updated very, very soon. And if you're interested in learning more about about what we do and how we can help you, just get in touch with us, admin at tima.com.au and we'll catch you on the flip side. Be better.